My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Renat Explorer's Born Explore. So last time, we went with the same crew we went with last, last time, and it didn't work out. So, I'm seeing that Maria might be a little bit of the weakest link here. Problem is, Yvonne Lefebvre does have Impress Range 2. Does have Saturn. But Group Insult and Deride will never help me. And this says Devious. This says Devious. The thing is, I really, I just really don't want to have to go with Yvonne. <sighs> She's got good defenses though. Maria does not. Maria is the problem in this party. Ooh, I think I might just have to go with the same party again and try and do better. Be better. Alright, fine. Gosh. What is it? The definition of insanity? To repeat the same thing consistently and expect a different result. We'll get it this time. Don't worry, it's okay. Uh, the first island went so well last time. We did as well, so uh, I can only imagine it's going to go worse this time. She's going to set us up for a worse run overall. Get our hidden hoard, get the discovery, get ourselves off to the right track. Delicious mushrooms. Now we need botanist, 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 botanist. Yay! Uh, it will keep study as well. Okay, now the more nature challenges we arrive at, the better our discovery token will get. Get off my land! The thing is, if you resolve this devious, Hey, accidentally tells us about a treasure. If we resolve this devious, we actually get a better treasure than if we resolve friendly and let him lead us to a treasure. So, I think we're going to try and resolve devious. Especially because devious is actually going to be easier for us, personally. Only because we're going to be provocative as a result of trying to do devious. Friendly would probably be easier if we already had some friendly buffs or at least the better friendly attacks so if we had like the aoe that uh, padrino does the party time that would make it a lot easier on us okay you do that we'll have you move all the way up to here and then buff this guy and we'll start moving around the back as long as no one goes down this round, we're completely fine. Whew. <laughs> that might have actually done it. Uh, okay, you can do your friendly attack, because we'll resolve Devious anyway. Druid accidentally tells you about a treasure. Uh, feel the curse of Cernanos. He throws a skull at you and runs away. We get the skull of Cernanos. One discovery. Plus, uh, I guess I go for the discovery. Hmm... Uh, plus one campaign and study at the end of each expedition for each, every, each and every level of archaeologist in your crew. I guess I go for the discovery? We didn't even get the negative. Okay, that works completely different to how it worked before the Mordo Explore DLC was released. Oh well. Padrino loses grit. That's actually going to be problematic in a few roles that we might want to wake with him. Make with him, rather. Not wake with him. Later on. Uh, aggression we can actually roll with. I mean, it's not going to be easy, but we can do it. Beautiful. You managed to hit your 80% on that one. Thank you. Uh, yay. Whew. Okay. At the very least, they couldn't roll far enough around in order to hit her. Maria, that is. We need to be better at positioning Maria. That also contributed very heavily to why we kept uh, losing. Okay, you go classical physics. All of this should be relatively familiar. The reasoning should be relatively familiar as well. So I'm not actually going to spend much time running through why I'm doing what I'm doing, because I did that for the last two episodes. It should be obvious by now, goddammit. Alternatively, if you want to know, it's in the past two episodes. We are going to have a good science base, at least. And we've got the Skull of Xenonos. As long as we get a student here, we're actually in a really good position. 
If we don't get a student, eh, it's fine, but we're not in as amazing of a position as we would be should we have gotten a student. Okay, I'll have them buff one another. Wow. It's actually quite a far move. Um, guess I'll have you party time. Beautiful. Still allows me to resolve Devious, but allows me to get more damage in. Okay, no more speech losses, please. Losing armor is fine. Hey, there we go. This is going to be our student. Thank you very much. Very important for us to get. Padrino loses speech power. Gosh dang. Ah. Passion for fucking biology. All right, Padrino is inspired. Yay. The thing is, if I give that to Amelia, Amelia already knows biology, and I don't get anything. Most of the time, when you try and give a... Uh, when you try and give a perk or quirk or whatever they call What are they called here? Perk. Yeah, it is. Whenever you try and give a perk to someone who already knows the perk, it just doesn't give it to them and you get something else instead. However, at the moment, that's not true. At the very least, you're Amelia specifically in that location. So it's kind of annoying that that seems weirdly broken, but eh, fine, whatever. Okay. We'll start with that resolution. Wow, if I actually can't get close enough, I should have buffed you before I did that. We'll start with friendly, and then we've got to go devious if we want to get our extra speech. And we do want to get our extra speech. If I can hit with both of these... Beautiful. Got him. <laughs> uh, to think, I used to die on the first mission really often. I don't know how long it's been since I've died on the first mission, though. To contribute to amazing sciences. Hey, we got the sea sapphire. Good. <laughs> One study at the end of each expedition for each level of naturalist in your crew. Or five study. So this is three study right now, and then over the course of the game, it's going to give me more and more. I'm going to go with the three study right now, rather than the five study in total. Because I'm not going to be spending all of my study, right? This is something I've elucidated before, but uh, I don't like to spend all of my study after the first mission here, because I save some of it to give to something else later. You know the truth of so I only go this, give Amelia an engineer perk of steam engines. And then I take research, improved, and science. And I also take scientist senses for nature. And then I hold on to the rest of my uh, research. Usually I have between 85 and 100, but obviously a few things went against me. Uh, and then I go down this build. So I actually have extra research left over because I wasn't going to buy that anyway right now. I don't want that right now because I'm not going to be spending my insight yet. Okay, Stockholm Storjet, please, please, please. Oh, we got him! Had a horse. That's actually the one we wanted. Extra study if you're all friendly. And then we'll get a student. Next up, we will purchase a machete for you. And actually, because of where we're going, I'll give you the monkey wrench rather than giving the translation guide to Maria. And then the next island that we go to is going to be the Caribbean because the Caribbean gives me chances to stack up more bonuses on my research token. It is more difficult for me to do because I'm doing it friendly rather than aggressive, but it also has more uh, more challenges that I am going to be able to encounter and correctly succeed. So, eh, balances out. All right, resolve friendly. Let's go. That starts our resolution. Keep moving. Really? No nearby targets for each side? What are you talking about? There's one right there. Beautiful. <sighs> if only ever every mission could be this quick. Dunked on him. That one, I actually know what that's going to be. It's going to be archaeologist and survivalist. And athlete, I believe, also helps you here. Am I ever going to have the third level of archaeology here? No, but I, I'm not going to have the third level of engineer either. That's a shame. So I may as well just go here. 
Yeah, it's a ruined Spanish fort. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to investigate it for the bonus. So I'll find my way through the jungle using Padrino. Padrino is going to find me some extra plants and stuff. That's okay. Get some extra resources. Don't mind if I do. A shipwreck. Oh, I really like this one. 80%. I'll roll this rather than using the tool because I'm going to need the tool for things later in the run. Especially if we find the water torrent, the cave. Because that's so good. Okay, I actually want to go to either this one or this one. I'll go to this one so that I can open up the rest of the map. Because there's a bunch of things on this map that I need to find. And some of them are on the coast. So a few of them are the... All, all of the different encounters that will give me bonuses. Excuse me? They're very far away. I'm actually not going to be able to get to them, so there's no reason for me to try. Instead, I'll buff my entire team and wait. But I need to find a bunch of different things. I need to find the epic encounter with the Titanate. I need to find... Whoa, hang on. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. What? That didn't kill him? Well, color me a pickle. Uh, well, at the very least, I still managed to slam dunk him. Beautiful. This is also another thing that I need to find. Yep, the great place to camp. So, surprising everyone is status. And unfortunately, we only have surprising everyone. Padrino is going to learn how to be a cook. So now we have a level th 4 survivalist already. Unfortunately, that means we need to go to a blank spot. And that blank spot did not turn out to be the blank spot we wanted it to be. Uh, study token. My study token at the moment isn't super powerful. But none of those are amazing. I think I'll just spend that. It's a shame, but... Uh, but it's the best we could do there. So we want to find the Epic Encounter. We want to find the 100 Year Fruit. We want to find the Torrent. The Water Torrent, if it possibly spawned. Or we want to find the Hidden Jewel, if that encounter spawned. There's a lot of different encounters that can spawn in this area. And we want to find pretty much all of them. So we do need to explore the entirety of the map. I'm very familiar with this island, so I'm going to be able to pretty much call my shots on what happens. Okay. I unfortunately have to go that at the very start. This guy goes wild if we go devious, so we're not going to be going devious. Instead, we're going to tend friendly immediately thereafter. Okay. Now, as long as I move you here... Yeah, you can't even get to Maria. That's beautiful. That is actually really good positioning. Now, I'll have to be saddening... From that one target. But we can continue attacking... Ooh, that punch was actually quite rough. I can actually still block you off by moving there. That's beautiful. Okay, I... I definitely seduce right now. But I think I tranquility for the HP on everyone. And also for the buff, which means I should have done that first. So that I would have buffed uh, Maria's speech before she did the seduce. That definitely would have been correct. Definitely. Okay. You speak friendly. I'll actually heal you back up just so that I don't have to lose any, any resolve whatsoever right now. Unfortunately, their defenses were just buffed. I should actually have my party time back though, so I might be able to do something hilariously cool here. Yep. Got him. Uh, and I don't want to resolve that way, but it looks like I might have to. Hang on. Yeah, I can. Never mind. We're fine. Never mind. So he's excited about our cause. We did have to resolve that one friendly. I should have resolved it anything other than friendly. I keep I keep forgetting the golden banana. Is, never mind. It's actually apparently good. <laughs> Plus four study whenever a level four survivalist uh, sorry succeeds on the adventure wheel. You know what? We actually do give that to you. Huh. 
But I want the extra discovery token. Yeah, you know what? We go with the extra research from discovery tokens. Because the discovery token is actually not that powerful. But our whole run is based around powering up the discovery token, as you might imagine. Amelia orders the crew to go get the plants. Implore them to continue. Implore them to continue. 78% chance on this one. Damn it! Oh, never mind. We good. We got all of the plants. That is really good. 32 study tokens. Holy shit. Alright. 98% chance to get a stupid amount more. If this gives me the ability to buff my study token, we're actually in insane positions. Hunter of Gear Fruit pops out and... No, but one discovery is not worth six study tokens at the moment. I found that out last time, but it will be soon. Alright. Haven't I got her thing active? Hmm. Okay, athlete wants to climb the tree. We just have Petrinia roll because we don't actually get a treasure out of this. We want to save our tool for giving us things that give us treasures. Okay, Padrino, extra collect when resolving friendly. There's a zero link there. We'll go here, this is blank, but it does lead to two different areas. That is the area where this machete is going to need to be held by Amelia. This is because you want the person to climb the tree to have Survivalist, Athlete, and Naturalist. Survivalist only gives you three campaign tokens. Naturalist and Athlete both give you treasures. So you want someone with the best of those. So we climb parts that require great strength in order to get the Amazon eggs. This is going to give us the study, obviously. We take a closer look at the ecology, which gives us the tear orchid. Uh... Six study is so appealing, though. Uh, but I have to go with my discovery tokens. Study the jungle canopy. And then we return to the ground. Then I can pass the machete back to the character that actually can use it. Okay, let's go get some more resources. This should be pretty easy for, yep, our survivalists to do. Now we're going to be able to get more bonuses on our discovery tokens. So it's actually higher than that. It's 32 to 50 right now. And I don't know if we'll be able to get it pumped up again before we leave. But 32 to 50. Look at all of the discovery, sorry, study tokens that we're currently holding. After this mission, we are actually just going to be insane. Ruins of the village. I'm actually going to go to the 73 because my only loss is negative two supplies and obviously I don't get the bonuses. But I'm going to need to be able to do things later, so. Shit, that spot has to be the... One, two, three. I'm going to take three more hunger penalties. Wow, that spot even... That spot wasn't the spot I thought it was. I thought it was going to be the lighthouse encounter. Because I've had relatively few rare encounters. Okay, uh, who needs the extra... Well, you know what? Maria needs the extra armor. Otherwise, we're gonna have her die constantly again. Losing speech defense actually doesn't matter here. Find nothing of interest in the area. Losing speech power, however, it does. Okay, onwards. We're not gonna be able to set up the camp. But we should be able to disarm the bomb. 88. She's got two levels of engineer and the tools. Beautiful. We disarm the bombs, and now we just need to take out the team. Uh, this is where we fell over last time. But we did have way more hunger penalties last time as well. So I've got lower speech defense. That's actually not going to be important here. Lower attack, that's not going to be important here. Lower speech on Maria is going to be important, unfortunately. Uh, that's actually going to really affect the team. Do I want to 10 devious early? Disarming smile. 
They become enraged if they're negative. They disarm the target, making it impossible for them to cast physical attacks. Okay, we definitely need to use that later against the boss. We're going to need to basically bolster down in that little area there. It's not going to be that difficult to do. And by bolster down, obviously, I mean bunker up. Whew. Thankfully, that worked. Oh, I should have done that one first. And this guy tries to power himself up before he does any attacks. Thankfully. Never mind. Oh, that's one person down, at least. <gasps> How on earth are we still alive? Party time! Oh, it's a wonderful party. Everyone enjoyed it <laughs> themselves. Okay, they've gone devious. Oh, that's going to make this fight so much fucking easier. Oh, I cannot tell you. How important it is that that actually changed. Okay, you move down here, and then disarm. Now it's devious against devious. And they've gone aggressive. You can't do anything this turn, can you, buddy? <laughs> Alright. It's time to whirlwind slam dunk this guy and start going friendly again. Alright, well, I balls that up. I should have been able to do way better there. Okay, you might actually be able to take out... Never mind. Only Maria. So, we've actually managed to resolve this in the way that we wanted. Thankfully. Lower your defenses again, and boom. Oh. That's really important. You are going to... Not... Look at the... It's insane. Just, let's leave it, it's actually insane. Uh, your current's highest level natural store. No, I have to go with the discovery token buffs, though. That's the whole point of this run, the discovery tokens, damn it. There's very few naturalist means in the game, anyway. Five treasures. Alright, let's watch the, uh, let's watch the science pile up. Reminder, I got like 185 or something on my first mission. Okay. I'll accept 561. Seems like it might be good. <laughs> uh, okay, so. New Orleans is the equipment shop that we would actually want for a speech team. And Constantinople is obviously an entourage hall, but the entourage hall in Constantinople isn't going to be particularly helpful for us. Well, I mean, we're not going to have the status to really do anything with it. We're not going to have the gold really to do anything here, but it's going to be a little bit easier. Okay. Now, we want to go down nature sciences, and we also want to go down anthropology. Anthropology is pretty important because it actually gives us research over time as well through giving research to the encounter token. And this is going to give us the discovery. Right? So, one discovery every time we get a treasure and more stuff from discovery tokens. Plus, it has plus two study every time we enter a nature challenge. So, I think we'll go there. Beautiful. This is exactly what we wanted. Okay, we get plus 50 renown from whatever, this is fine. And then I'll finish this. Our research will bring us more. So now that I've got two finished fields, I've got two extra supply capacity. And every single time I finish another field, I'm going to get an extra supply capacity. And next mission, we might actually get enough science to finish outright the anthropology field. Holy shit, this is going well. Okay. Check back in here. What could we get? 
Uh, extra, extra status from each study token. We already have Engineer Machines, and I think we already have Beguiler Astonishing. No, we don't, but we would get it later, so that one's actually disincentivized for that reason. Okay. Honestly, I think we just go Student. Pretty easy, uh, pretty easy choice there. Student upgrade, check out what we get. We could get Combustion here? That would make a level 3 Engineer. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Go to the downtown shops over in New Orleans. Diplomat Customs. Extra three speech when the current attitude is devious. Unlikely to be something I want to roll with. So what is our next island? Let's check that out next. It's got to be Mali Mystery, but we could also go to the Highlands. The Highlands requires a Beguiler, Diplomat, Tactician, Engineer. We have a Beguiler. We can get a Diplomat. We don't have a Tactician. We can get an Engineer. The problem with all of this... Sorry, we, we have an Engineer. Um, the problem with all of this is our Diplomat is super low. And this gives us status gold, right? This gives us gold. This gives us research status. But you can't resolve it friendly. You can resolve it friendly devious. Shit, we can resolve it friendly devious. Diplomat, survivalist, engineer, we don't have a rogue. Is there any way I can get a rogue using the tools that are available to me in the downtown shop? Now, I'm going to have to buff up the downtown shop anyway, because I'm going to want the powerful books of joy to go on a bunch of my targets here as their aggression. So let's upgrade. Spyglass, rogue bluffing. It's also pickaxe for naturalist geology and athlete tenacious. And Diplomat Negotiations Rogue Bluffing. Holy shit. That's really good for Maria. Because I want to give her Diplomat and I want to give her Rogue. Like, in, in the world... In the world's best option, I would be giving Rogue to Padrino and Diplomat to Maria. But I can't do that right now. Can I? Extra speech hit and extra attack hit chance. So, if I were giving Maria the translation guide, that would give her the diplom uh, the diplomacy. For diplomat languages. And then Padrino gets rogue where? Like, I think he would most likely want to get it out of the the saw but i don't think the saw is in this store hang on can i tell where i can buy what i can buy from this particular area let's have a quick check just a really quick look because this is something i have not yet memorized shop uh okay reis shop list Beautiful. New Orleans, I can get the saw. I actually get the saw, but the saw is for quick thinker. Damn. Sheriff badge. No, I don't want that. Plus three grit per level of beguiler from the banjo. That's actually really good. On Maria, that would be worth... It also gives banjo astonisher. Uh, sorry, astonisher. So it would be worth 12 grit. It's actually double the amount of grit that she already has, basically. Okay, that's quite good. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think I still want to go with giving someone like the Master Book of Joy, something like that. Buff people through that track. But at the same rate, I do need to get as much stuff as possible. You've got some great... I think I give her the poker set. Save myself some space so that I can do things with Padrino later. Yeah. We'll go with that. I could have made problems for myself, but we'll go with that. I can actually make you a level 2 athlete. That... Oh, shit. That's actually hilarious. I also make you a level 2 naturalist. And then when the naturalist token comes up, I have, by that time, 5 levels of naturalist. 
and five by four, 20. That'll give me 20 study tokens just for having that. That is going to be hilarious. Unfortunately, it's not something I'm going to be able to do first off in this episode or secondly, probably with, uh, with the next mission because I've got to wait for the card to come up just right. That said, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Renan Explorers. Explore. more to explore. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There is a playlist in the description down below with all my content on the video game, past, present, and future, and hopefully we'll see you next time.